Let me paint a picture for you. It's been nine months since you found out your wife is pregnant, and your child has finally been delivered by the stork. And its first words are... I just finished The Misfit of Demon King Academy, and it was an absolute garbage fire, but that's okay. For me, this anime was like eating saltine crackers. I could consistently eat these bad boys all day, and while I won't get excited for them, I'm not gonna stop eating them, and occasionally, I'll get that one cracker with extra salt on it. To simplify it, let me use terms that the kiddos would use. Mid. I won't lie, when I watched this anime, I was super sick. In fact, I still am sick. So my brain wasn't all there watching this anime, just letting you know in case I do sound a little different. Let me break down the basics of the anime for those who haven't seen it without spoiling too much. If you do have a desire to watch this anime, I would recommend adding it to your watch later list, just to never watch it because according to the list, you have to watch One Piece first. 2000 years ago, the demon lord of tyranny Anos sacrificed himself to make Trump's dream finally come true. He built a wall to separate all races. 2,000 years later, he's reincarnated. But it appears that history has changed, and now the people think that the Demon Lord's real name was Avos de Helviv. I'm sick. Can I just get a pass on this one? So, my man goes to school to get a harem, just in case he might need one later. And I am a sucker for an OP protagonist, and Anos is no exception. I'm sure you all know about One Punch Man, but Anos doesn't even need one punch. He beats people up with his heartbeat, and by blinking. And while he is known as the Demon Lord of Tyranny, a more realistic name for him would be Jesus Christ. Because this man revives more people than he kills. Not to mention the confidence of this man. He brings his whole fan club into fights and says, wait a minute, let my girl sing so I can beat your ass and have a theme song playing at the same time. We get the two sisters who are there for, um, fan service? Yeah, that's about it. A swordsman who uses a sword and has mommy issues? Speaking of mommy, let's give it up for the parents of the year. All other anime parents need to take notes from these two. These two are without a doubt the best part of this whole anime. If you replace the whole cast with just Anos and copies of his parents, I wouldn't even complain. Remember that situation from the beginning of the video? Okay, imagine that, but then your child becomes an adult in one month. And these two just act like it's everyday activities. Someone give these parents a Grammy. Alright guys, here's the spoiler warning. First off, why does everything start with the Demon King? The Demon King Castle? The Demon King School? Demon King Magic? It wouldn't surprise me if they have Demon King tampons. And are there no police in this world? Because so many fights just break out in public and nothing happens. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. This anime has so many great moments, but it seems to undo everything that it works towards. For example, when the mom was sacrificing herself to help her son defeat the bad guy, it was a tearful goodbye and a great moment. Oh, but don't worry, Jesus is just gonna resurrect her real quick. And this resurrection trope continues for the whole anime. Also, when I got to the final episode and they code geosed me, I was so happy Happy, thinking wow what a perfect ending he once again sacrificed himself to save the world and will become the bad guy all for the sake of peace i was thinking that this was genuinely one of the best endings i could have imagined that this was one of those endings that will keep me staring at the ceiling until 2 a.m gotcha bitch what do you mean you reincarnated it's been five minutes and for the final boss i really had no idea what was going on because my sick brain had already checked out isn't this the guy who got five seconds of screen time and got folded the point is that they undo everything that they work towards. Like when a whole arc was about stopping these two from fusing together, but now they can suddenly do it at will? But hey, fan service. This anime also only had one decent plot twist. All of them were pretty obvious. I wonder who the real bad guy is. Wow, it was the person who Anos thought was his friend. Who would have guessed that after the first three times that it happened? I think that the only good twist was that Lei was the reincarnation of the hero, but it was a little obvious too. And how come everybody and their mother was reincarnated? Is this world like a cycle of reincarnation? Remember that one water spirit you saw for like two seconds? Yeah, that's me. Not to mention how bland these characters are. I have seen better character development in characters from hentai. But with all these bad things I've just said about the anime, why does it have such a high rating? I, uh, I really don't know. It's just a train wreck that I couldn't stop watching. It's almost so bad that it ends up being good. And I really can't say that I didn't enjoy this anime. Because I did, in a weird and stupid way. So now for the big question. Do I recommend watching this anime? Hell yeah, brother! But... Don't expect much. Also, what the hell is season 2 gonna be about? Because all the problems have been solved. And how come No Game No Life didn't get a second season, but this did? Oh my god, who the hell cares? Hello, Outro Lunar here. Click here if you want to see my channel. Click over here if you want to see my most recent video. Click over here if you want to see the recommended video. Bye bye.